Hello and welcome to another session of Time and Work. We'll have a look at more examples here and see how exactly they are tackled. Let's have a look at the first one. A cistern is filled by an inlet in three and a half hours. But due to a leakage at the bottom of it, it takes an half an hour longer this time. So when the cistern is full, how long will it take to leak to empty the cistern? Now work done by the inlet. Now suppose there is no leakage. It fills up in three and a half hours. So in one hour, how much work is done? Three and a half hours, if we convert it into pure fraction, it is nothing but seven by two. So in one hour, it will be what? Two by seven? Let's take the second case, if there is a leakage. Now in, if there is a leakage, it takes four hours. So in one hour, how much work will be done? One by four. So the difference of these two work will give us nothing but the work done by the leakage. So let's see, two by seven minus one by four, that is the difference which is nothing but 1 by 28. So 1 by 28 is the work done by the leakage in order to empty that. So the work done, the time taken by it will be what? Invert of it, which is nothing but 28 hours. Let's have a look at another question now. Now there are 12 pipes attached to a tank. Some of them are filling pipes and some of them are draining pipes. Each of the pipes can fill the tank in 12 hours and each of the drain pipes can empty the tank or drain the tank in 24 hours individually. Huh? Each of the pipes can fill it in 12 hours individually and 24 hours empty it individually. Now if all the pipes are kept open which means that the fill pipes are led to fill and empty pipes are led to empty, it takes 2 hours for the tank to overflow. How many of these pipes are drain pipes? Now let's look at them individually. Let's look at the fill pipes. Work done by the fill pipe in one hour is what? They will complete it in 12 hours. So in one hour, 1 by 12. Let's look at the drain pipes. In 24 hours, they will empty the uh, tank, cistern. Now in one hour, 1 by 24th of it is emptied or that kind of work is done. There are a total of 12 pipes. We don't know how many and where. So let's assume X is the number of pipes who are fill pipes. So the total work done by x pipes is nothing but x upon 12 because one pipe is doing 1 by 12. How many are the empty pipes? Now if fill pipes are 12, empty pipe, empty pipe will be what? 12 minus x. So 12 minus x upon 24 is the work done by the emptying pipes. So x upon 12 and 12 minus x upon 24. That is the work done by both of them. So now it takes two hours for the tank to overflow, means two hours is the work required to completely fill the tank from bottom, from emptiness. So n by 12, which is the work done positively, minus 12 minus n upon 12, 24, which is the work done negatively, is equal to how much? Half, because it takes two hours, so in one hour it will be 1 by 2. Solving it, we will get n equal to 8. Now n equals 8 means 8 fill pipes are there and the rest which is 12 minus 8 which is 4 pipes are the emptying pipes. Let's have a look at another problem. Pipe A fills a tank of 700 liters capacity at the rate of 40 liters a minute. Another pipe B fills the same tank at the rate of 30 liters per minute. This question is slightly different. We know the capacity of the tank. In all the previous question we didn't know what is the quantity of work done in any units? Maybe hours, maybe liters or maybe any other medium that we can measure. Here we are given that. Let's go ahead with the question. A pipe at the bottom of the tank drains the tank at the rate of 20 liters a minute. So there is one which fills at 40 liters a minute. There is second which fills at 30 liters a minute. And there is the last one which drains at 20 liters a minute. Then if all the pipes are simultaneously opened, how much time will it take to fill the tank? So there's a 40, there's a 30, which are do both doing positive work, and there's a 20, which is doing negative work. So the net work done is nothing but 70 minus 20, which is 50. So 50 liters of water is pouring into the tank every minute. How much time does it take? 700 liters. So 700 divided by 50 will give me 14 minutes. So it, in all, it takes 14 minutes. We see that once we have the quantum of work, the understanding or the approach towards the problem eases so much. So it becomes a lot more easier to solve it. The trick is when we don't have that. 
which is the case in most of the questions. Let's have a look at another question. Three taps are there and they can fill a tank in four, six and eight hours respectively. If they are opened one after the other for one hour each, which means that one is opened for an hour, then it is shut down, second is opened for an hour and then it is shut down and third is open for an hour. So this cycle goes on. Now get back to the question. Starting with the first tap, how much they will all together take to fill a cistern? Now going back, okay, the first one is one, 4 hours to complete it, 6 hours to complete it and 8 hours to complete it. So the time uh, or the work done in 1 hour is what? 1 by 4th, 1 by 6th and 1 by 8th respectively. So, but they are not doing it simultaneously. So we simply cannot say that, okay, if we add them up 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 18, which will give us 13 by 24. Ideally, if they are opened, it will be what? 24 upon 13. So 24 upon 13 is not possible. But still we can have an idea of how many cycles will be completed. 24 upon 13 is more than 1 but less than 2. So we can say that it will take more than 1 hour in a normal circumstance and less than 2 hours. But in terms of cycles, it will take more than 1 cycle but less than 2 cycles. So at the end of 1 cycle, how much work will be done? 1 by 4 by the first one, 1 by 6 by the second one, 1 by 8 by the second third one. In, in all, 13 by 24 will be done. What is left? 9, 11 upon 24 is the work left at the end of the first cycle. So let's open the first tap again after the first cycle is over. So it will complete 1 by 4 which is nothing but 6 upon 24. So 6 upon 24 subtracted from 11 upon 24. What is left? 5 upon 24 is left. So there is another cycle, uh, another one which has to be opened. So let's open the second one now. 1 by 6 of the work is done. So 4 upon 24 is work is done in that hour. We have 5 upon 4 left. So even at the end of this, we still have 1 by 24 left. Let's open the third one now. So third one is what? 1 upon 8. Now 1 upon 8 is nothing but 3 upon 24, which is more. So we don't know how much time this will be open for. So let's assume it is open for x hours. So x upon 8 will give me 1 upon 24. Solving for that, we get x equal to 1 by 3 or in terms of hours, 20 minutes. So the entire cycle is going to take 5 because one cycle is complete of 3 hours, then 2 more are open, so 3 plus 2, 5 and then 20 minutes for this. So it will take a total of 5 hours and 20 minutes. This is how we can apply ratios as well as unitary methods to solve a lot of time and work problems.